I just had a conversation today with somebody who wanted to be able to remove pre-supports from models. I've seen a video or two around um, before about this using mes mesh mixer, uh, but that can be a bit of a messy process. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in Blender here in about 10 seconds. Uh, so Blender, for those of you that don't know, is free software. Uh, it works on Mac and PC, it's super awesome. I highly recommend using it for a lot of different stuff. I use it for most of my modeling. Um, but you can download Blender. And here I have a spaceship in here for my Terra Conflict Kickstarter that's pre-supported. So you come file import STL will allow you to import the file. And then once you're in Blender here, you just select the file and you'll be in object mode by default. So click this drop down and go to edit mode, which will make you in a mode here where you see all the vertices and edges and everything. Um, make sure up here you have this button selected, which means you're doing vertex select. And you'll see everything is orange here, meaning that all the vertices are selected. So I'm going to click away from the model there, then I'm going to click anywhere on the main model. It's hard to see because it's tiny, but I selected one vertex on the main model. And the way that these pre-supports are made by slicers is that they are set up in their own shells, separate from the main model. So if I hit the L key or go up to select linked right here, it will select all the vertices of the main shell of this model. Now I can go up here to select invert or hit command I and that selects all the pre-supports. Now I can hit the X key or go up to select, or excuse me, um, mesh delete vertices. This is going to delete all those pre-supports and I'm going to go back to object mode and that's it. You can see it's done now. All the supports are gone. So I can go up to file export STL to get this out of here as an STL and then I can do whatever I want with it. Thanks.